right, it is gardening time, vegetable season. Oh yeah, let's check out what we got to, so far. I got my seed box. We got some carrots. We got some tomatoes. We got some other things like spinach. And we got some sugar snap peas. We got all different kinds of stuff. More sugar snap peas. And we also got lettuces, herbs like basil, basil, basil. And uh, some more different types of tomatoes. Ooh, I got some kale. And check this out. I also have the seeds that I saved from last year. German striped green, striped green tomatoes, and zebra, like the zebra ones, and red brandy wine. Save the seeds from last year. Gonna try to germinate these, and uh, we're gonna have uh, hopefully a nice raised bed thing. I got a lot of work to do, because we gotta build the raised bed still and bring the dirt in, and gotta expand the garden. So, whew, gotta work cut out for us. But check this out. Got a cool new seed starting lamp, and I have it on a timer over here. I'm gonna fiddle with that, so it kind of just runs during the day. And also got a nice, for a housewarming gift, we got this nice herb uh, gar window garden thing. I'm gonna get that started. And uh, let's get some seats started, woo! So you open the box, and you got lots of different containers, and some like peat moss, you just like add water and it should expand. And I'm sure their seeds are down here. Let's check this out. Yeah, we got uh, lots of seeds in there, it looks like. And you got, ooh, your instruction manual. And ooh, the labeling. That's cool. So you got your, like, good stuff in here. It even comes with, like, some watering trays. So if it's excess water, you just, like, it won't get all over your table. And I don't know, more, like, more, more stuff. Oh, this looks like a different language. Oh, cool. I like that. Now I won't bore you with all the like the play-by-play -play of everything but basically they give you nice instructions on like how to expand the disc let's try to turn the page with one finger oh look at that oh yeah and just how to do it and that, this is pretty inf good information here just set follow the instructions for each different seat because every every herb is different it says to heat this to 120 degrees we can do that exactly adding the water now it says you're supposed to wait 15 minutes to see it go six to eight times in size. Let's see what happens. Okay, so that really didn't work at all. It only like doubled in size, so we gotta add some hot water. Yeah, I don't know what the hell's going on here. It's like, if I split it in two, this is hot water in here, you know, and it looks like two turds in a pile of shit in here. And I'm gonna try to break this up and just try to get more soil wet in here. So after kind of just breaking up the soil a little bit, it did expand quite a bit. So let's see if it fits in three of the pots. This time I used hotter water and it pretty much soaked all that up. So there's gonna be like less of that. So let's see how that fits. All right, so all the seeds are planted. You just kind of follow the instructions how deep, whether it's like a half an inch, a quarter inch, or just surface, which is like surfaces for these and the basil. I added a little bit of soil to these because I thought it was really shallow and I hope that's okay. And now to just give them a little bit of water and to put them on the windowsill. So like I said, these were the ones that, uh, of that like disc that didn't have expand as much. So I added soil to that and then I put them all on this windowsill here. So we'll see how it looks in a few weeks. All right, now it's time for the tomato plantings. I love growing tomatoes. I love growing lots of different varieties. So you can see here, I'm gonna have a bunch of different uh, varieties here. And I've got the seeds. I'm dividing these into three, six, nine different ones, you know? Probably have like a one or two plants in the garden of each. But I got German striped green tomatoes, which I saved from seeds from last year. And I got some early reds and a red brandy wine, your classic red brandy wine. And I got a cherry tomato, so pretty set so I'm gonna fill these up and plant these seeds and I'm gonna turn this bad boy on so what I like to use is like a you know I'm using an old plastic knife but some sort of implement you don't want to put your fingers in the dirt here because then like you have bacteria in your on your fingers right and that might like hurt the seeds and hurt the like little seedlings so you don't want to do that so use something that's like you know cleaner right and you can mark off quarter inch which is like a lot for tomato plants or an eighth of an inch that's a good idea so like red brandy wine I'm gonna put you down a quarter of an inch. Boom! So I got the light on and I got my seeds on there. 
Um, and what I did was I put this in this kind of tray thing and I pour water in here and it soaks up the soil from bottom up. That way it doesn't dislodge the soil and get muddy and get everywhere. Kind of just naturally soaks the soil and keeps it moist but not too like muddy and wet, which I find is really helpful. And then it will always keep the soil wet and moist, rather, not wet, uh, throughout uh, until these germinate, which is good. This is uh, kale. I planted kale seeds too. So we got a lot of... Um, also basil as well and all the different tomatoes in here so looking forward to see how this looks in a few weeks